In this video, I would like to explore what exactly is Perlin noise, and there already is a great article about this on the Adrian's Sober Box. I will link this article in the description of this video so that you can read more about how the Perlin noise is generated and how it can affect our procedural generation. Overall, Perlin noise implementation in Unity generates us a fluid value between 0 and 1, where 0 is the black area and 1 is the white area in the grayscale image. The idea here is that the Perlin noise is a pseudo-random pattern of fluid values generated across 2D plane, so that we need to pass x and y coordinate to generate a fluid value. Now the main benefit of the using the noise a generator instead of the random value is that we will get the same value if we provide the same input coordinates x and y, which we could of course do with the random number generator by passing it a seed, but in case of generating the Perlin noise it is easier because we have only one function and it doesn't store the internal state compared to the random number generator. Now another important feature of using the noise value is that it is smooth so that we have the smooth transition between the black and white areas and we can create the smooth terrain. Those wavy patterns are pretty random so that we can achieve this natural looking landscape. Back in the article, the problem with the basic noise function, even if, if it is smooth, is that it looks very monotonous. We have only hills and valleys, so at some point it looks very repetitive, despite the fact that each hill and each valley is smaller or larger, at some point you can find those patterns. We are lacking plateaus or tall looking mountains, some points of interest that we can remember that, yeah, I remember that there was this tall mountain and there's where I want to go. One solution is at the bottom and it's called working with octaves, so basically what we want to have is a multi-octave Perlin noise. And this means only that we want to combine multiple values of Perlin noise to generate a more natural looking landscape with more details in it. I will talk more about this uh, when we implement it, but this will still look pretty artificial. It will look more natural, but there still will not be points of interest are uh, like some tall mountains that stands out from the landscape. Now to create a more uh, natural looking landscape that contains some sort of uh, point of interest that we can say okay this looks very unique is what is called domain warping technique. And this algorithm also uses Perlin noise to create offset so we do not get the next point after the one that we have just checked, but instead we are going to offset it and get the furthest point, so down the smoothing path, so this will create us a sudden drop for example, so the outcome should be some uniquely looking landscape, even if we are still looking at the same pearly noise, basically we mainly want to wrap it to create some uh, sudden drops or sudden rises of the terrain. Now an example would be, for example, here, where we have a sudden drop of the terrain and it goes downwards and there is a this hill that stands out on the in the middle of the terrain that we have. And of course, the Perlin noise will only generate us the terrain, but we are going to also add some trees and we are going to use also Perlin noise to place those trees in the specific points so that we have some details added to our map and that it looks more lively with those trees added. Now of course this can be done all at once. If we generate our landscape, we are going to have patches of water, so there would be no reason for a tree to grow out of water, so we will also have a concept of generating in layers, where we are going to first generate our landscape, then we are going to add some stone areas, to make changes to it. Of course, you can play around with the settings, but basically this will give us those random areas where there is stone. Now in this step, we are also going to generate different biomes. So we have this, uh, uh, so we have this green terrain as well as the desert. 
and after we have those biomes then only we can add some details like trees since the issue will be that some in some at some cases part of the tree will be in the one chunk and another part in the another chunk so we will need to know already about the chunks before we can place our tree leaves of our trees and of course we need to know where is the water so that we can place trees only where there is no water for example here on the island but not inside the water okay with this overview done let's go to the next video about creating a terrain generator and biome generator scripts so that we can decouple our terrain generation algorithm from the high level world class that we have implemented in the previous section of this tutorial about creating a voxel engine See you in the next video.